base if you've been following along. Today is going to mark the third attempt to get our 10th Starship flight test off the ground. First one was back on Sunday. We stood down then to troubleshoot an issue with some of our ground systems, had a leaky hose. We replaced that, got to our attempt yesterday, lost our battle with the weather gods and some anvil clouds in the area, but we're hoping the third time is the charm. Yeah, fingers crossed for sure. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, we finished our boost back burn so that was shut down so that's the the first of the two burns after a launch that the booster is going to do today so now it's headed towards the gulf it's not going to be quite as an aggressive of a flight down we relax that angle of attack a little bit but we are then going to be looking for it to do its engine tests for the landing burn that's always rad to see the see the boost plume itself in the background as it was coming in 20 seconds to land here. Ship after chamber pressure stop. All right, here we go. about 45 minutes into the 10th flight test of Starship. And as you can see, the light show has started. Re-entry has begun. We are starting to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. We're moving about five times the speed of sound. And we're about to start barreling through the Earth's atmosphere and head for a splashdown in the Indian Ocean. We don't plan to recover the spacecraft today, but if we do make it all the way down to the water, who knows? Uh, but the goal of this part of the flight is to learn as much as we can about the ship's heat shield. Fully reusable, rapidly reusable heat shield. All right, so coming up in just a little under two minutes, so we're gonna do the flip and the burn. So we're only using those three center Raptor engines, the sea levels, the ones that can kind of gimbal, that can move around and steer, dipping the nose down a little bit. Stay 
Starship, landing current to start over. Seeing three engines. 